you been? I've been waiting like an hour for you. I'm sorry, I lost track of time. Hi, I'm Isabella. And I'm Caitlin. And, and this is Charger, Charger Current, Current News. News. Spring sports are about to fire up. Track, boys golf, and girls tennis will start soon. Listen to announcements for sign up dates and start dates. Reminder, you have to, to find you have to have a valid physical on file to participate. Let's go to Kylie for the weather. Hi, I'm Kylie Henson and this is this weekend's weather. On Friday, there will be light rain with a high of 43 and a low of 35. On Saturday, it will be cloudy with a high of 59 and a low of 46. And on Sunday, it will be clear with a high of 67 and a low of 54. Back to the studio. The weather seems nice, but not too nice. Now let's go to Sammy and Chase for the question of the week. If you could meet anyone in history, who would it be? Probably Albert Einstein, because I kind of want to get a little smarter. If you could meet anyone in history, who would it be and why? Abraham Lincoln, because he is honestly my favorite president, and I love what he did for the community. If you could meet anyone in history, who would it be? Probably Jinxie. And Because he's the best Rainbow Six Siege player. Alright, if you could meet anyone in history, who would it be and why? Abraham Lincoln. Why? So I can be on the penny. Okay, if you could meet anybody in history, who would it be and why? If I could meet anyone in history, I would love to meet Martin Luther King. His ability to um, unite so many people together and inspire them for the same cause is really um, heartwarming and very impressive, and I really appreciate him as an individual. Alright, if you can meet anyone in history, who would it be and why? I would probably meet Jane Austen, which is my favorite author. Um, she was alive in the 1800s, and she wrote really cool 1800s themed love stories. All right, if you could meet anyone in history, who would it be and why? I would choose Jane Goodall, still living, um, but in her prime when she first started working with the gorillas, and I would shadow her and visit some of the places that she went and see her methodology and how she went about studying in the field because field science is really interesting to me. And I think that what she did was revolutionary because not many people were going out into those dangerous situations. And as a female, that was not something that um, was very typical for the time period. So she was a pioneer and I would love to trail her and see what that was like. If you could meet anybody in history, who would it be and why? If I could meet anybody in uh, history, it would be Claude Monet. Um, I love his art. Um, it's so detailed. Um, it's in those pictures, I feel like you can just get in it and just be. Um, I just like to meet him and want to know why and why he chose to paint that way and how he learned how to do it and if he taught anybody else how to. If you could be anybody in history, who would it be and why? There's lots of joke answers, but I think I would pick Harriet Tubman because she's the best. She's the ultimate American hero. She became a spy. She freed over 200 slaves. She was awesome. All right? So cool. And she should be on the $20 bill. I'm just throwing that out there. Hey, if you could go back in history and meet anyone, who would it be? I don't know. Maybe Alexander Hamilton? I have a question for you. What? Can we get back on topic? Yeah, let's go over to Jack and Clayton for lunch. On Monday, we're having chicken alfredo with salad. Wednesday, we'll have grilled cheese with chicken and soup. On Wednesday, we're having salisbury steak with, with potatoes. Oh, on Thursday, We'll have nachos with refried beans. On Friday, we're having corn dog with oven baked fries. Back to the studio. What's your favorite dessert? Oh, that's easy. It's pie. Well, good news for you. Pie Day is on March 14th, 2024. That's right. Starting on March 7th, you can pay $1 to purchase a raffle ticket at a chance to pie your favorite staff member in the face. All proceeds of the ticket will go towards the scholarship. Also on March 7th, we will have the Pie B preliminary rounds in Mrs. Evie's room for anyone who can recite the most digits of pie. We call some people down to recite as many digits of pie as we can. Are you guys excited for today? 
All right. 3.141592653589. Eight four six two six four three three eight three two seven nine five zero two eight eight four one nine seven one six nine three nine nine three seven five one zero five eight two zero nine seven four nine four four five nine two three zero seven eight one six four nine seven four nine four four five nine two three zero seven eight one six four zero six two eight six two zero eight nine nine eight nine seven four nine four four five nine two three zero seven eight one six four zero six two eight six two zero eight nine nine eight six two eight zero three four eight two five three four two one one seven zero six seven nine. I think we've got a final count. We have our Pi B winner. Let's get a drum roll, please. Our 2023 Pi B winner. Now let's go to the interview. What was your favorite project you have done in your class? Um, my favorite project I've done in my class is um, I'm kind of a sneakerhead, you know, um, as some students know. Um, sometimes I wear a little heat on my feet here at school every once in a while. So we have a project that's um, it's a um, custom sneaker design project. And I really enjoy that project. And I think some of the um, students really enjoy that one as well. What is your favorite basketball team? Oh, my favorite basketball team? Oh, Chicago Bulls, of course. You know. if, you, if you relate to one U.S. president, who would it be? Uh, relate to one? Well, there would, it would probably be like two. Um, uh, I would say Obama, and then I would say um, um, Clinton. What would your class theme song be? Um, I think my class theme song would be, um, uh, I think it's Bon Jovi, Living on a Prayer. If you could give one piece of advice to your students, what would it be? Um, one piece of advice to my students? I would say, um, it's kind of a quote. A little small little quote, um, especially for young kids, like just simply become who you are and uh, just continue to, to have a willingness to do. How do you keep up with all the new trends going on with your students? Uh, I, I don't know. I really don't. I mean, they kind of tell me, I guess. Would you rather eat only hot dogs your whole life or only hamburgers your whole life and why? Oh man, that's hard. Being where I'm from, Chicago. Now, I would say hamburger, because you can really do a lot of different things with hamburger. What do you feel, or what do you think about the new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Fortnite update? Uh, I don't know much about it, but I'm pretty sure if it's a new Ninja, Teenage Ninja Turtle update, I'm pretty sure it's it's, it's pretty dope. So um, I'm pretty sure it looks cool on screen, and I'm pretty sure that um, the character is probably what, I don't know how the Fortnite characters are, but don't get to play that much, but I'm pretty sure it's okay. All right, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for the interview, Devery and Alex. And a huge thank you to Mr. Granger. Let's go to sports with Jacob and Grayson. Hi, this is Sports for the Charger News. For girls basketball, Monday, March 4th, they are going to be going up against Crawford. Wednesday, March 6th, will be Park Heritage Middle School. For swim and dive, we had a big win against Frankfurt on Monday. 
girls were 93 to 79. The boys were 95 to 61. There you go. Tuesday, March 5th, will be against South Carolina at 6 p.m. Thursday, March 7th, will be up against Lebanon at 6 p.m. For wrestling, Saturday, March 2nd, we will be going up against Western Boone Junior High School at 6 p.m. Tuesday, March 3rd, it's County, 5.30 p.m., North Montgomery Middle School. Good, Good luck, luck to all sports teams. teams. That, that has, has been Charger Current, Current News. News. Thank, Thank you for watching. watching. Yeah, it like broke or something. No, it's like... Darn it. Why do you want people to see that? <laughs> also on March 7th, we will have a pie beef salmon. <laughs> preliminary. I can't. Okay, let's do it. Preliminary, right? Yeah, okay. Preliminary. One more time. Preliminary. <laughs> Preliminary. Okay, okay. Okay, Caitlin, stop laughing. You're making me laugh. Okay. Take a deep breath. Okay, we ready? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I forgot my line. Caitlin! I'm I've so been waiting sorry. for you.